How, how dangerous is an experiment like this in Germany? Well, it's important to note that all participants were actually uh, tested for the virus before um, being allowed to participate, and that young people and no one from high-risk groups uh, were actually allowed to participate in this study. Uh, of course, all of the safety precautions uh, that were adhered to in this study means that we can better understand behaviors of people uh, that are participating in mass events. So I would say that um, ensuring that all of these safety precautions uh, do continue, a research of this nature is essential. You, you say it's essential, but I mean, don't we already know that in large gatherings, particularly when it comes to a concert, the whole point or part of the fun is that people do get quite close to each other? Yes. However, we don't have very many studies uh, that look at uh, the nature of these interactions and what type of hygiene interventions can be introduced. We have to coexist with this virus until a vaccine is developed. And we need more evidence base and data to then drive the decisions that are made by governments. So while there are opportunities for super spreaders to occur uh, at mass gatherings, what we need to start to um, investigate is what type of interventions are most effective in these scenarios. But in these scenarios, the main, I mean, already we know that the main form of transmission for the virus is these respiratory droplets. So, and then, you know, obviously in a concert, you know, I don't know, you might, I mean, you might have people sweating all over each other and things like that. I mean, what intervention can, can really stop that? Yes, and I think this study will show us that uh, we won't be able to return fully to how uh, concerts and other social gatherings used to uh, take place. And in this instance, uh, people did uh, wear face masks uh, at a concert, which, which of course, uh, might make singing a little bit more difficult. But in this instance, it does show that we have to uh, collect more data to predict the behaviors at which we can minimize or optimize the, the, the risk involved. Uh, just saying altogether that uh, we can't progress any further will cause too much damage in long term. I do think that if we conduct studies safely, that there's a lot that we can learn from a behavioral perspective that can inform uh, individual de uh, decisions. And that's how science works. We, we have to be able to uh, test these theories out in a safe and controlled way. All right, well, thank you for sharing your thoughts on this uh, experiment with us. Oksana Pizik joining us there. Thank you.